Well, hello, hello, everyone. Hey, it's Linda Anderson here from Linda Lou Creates. Thanks for joining me. And um, yeah, I wanted to share today a couple promotions that Stampin' Up! is putting on this month. First up is uh, what they're calling Perfect Partners. So that is already released stamp sets that they have come out now with the dies. Um, and you know I love using my dies. So some of the stamp sets I already had, so all I had to do was purchase the die. Others that I didn't have, I was able to get the two together and, cr and then get the bundle price, which means it's 10% off. So for today's cards, the perfect partner that I'm gonna share is the Apple Harvest stamp set with the Apple Blossom dies. I mean, look at all these dies. Not only do they cut out the three um, apple images that are in here and the, and the blossom, but you can create some other elements as well, other apple blossoms just out of cardstock, leaves, really, really gorgeous. So um, I highly recommend taking a look at that list. The other thing that I wanted to uh, showcase was in the month of September again, each week, they are featuring deals. Um, so it goes from like September 1st to September 7th. This is the first week of deals. And a couple things that I am uh, showing on my cards are, first up is the um, six by six craft paper. Really, really fun. Um, so I'm using that on my cards. Um, everything that you see that I'm telling you that's on this, the deals are at a discount, they're on sale. So um, embellishments, ribbon, uh, different like boxes and things like that. So you're gonna have to take a look at that and uh, to see, and I'll show you as I'm going along what else is on the deal. So, hey, tell you what, enough of my jabbering, let's get started, so. Okay, this is the first one I want to talk about. Oh, the other thing, how could I miss, is the Designer Series paper. This is the one out of the uh, holiday mini catalog called Splendid Day. It is stunning paper. Um, sorry, there's going to be a glare because this is like a foil paper. And then on the other side is the plain um, paper or geometric or what have you the non-metallic side how's that so um that is also a part of the deal this week but like i said it's only for this week until the seventh so let's get going here so i have a card base the thick whisper white my top folding that i love which means that it's 11 by four and a quarter scored down the middle at five and a half I have a piece of that craft cardstock that I cut out, and this is the four by five and a quarter. Now, as far as the designer series paper goes, I am going to flip these around. Um, it is the same paper. I am just going to instead, just to change things up a little bit during the live, but I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm using the metallic side now. So, so this actually, let me flip it though, so I'm not causing too much of a glare. So um, this actually is uh, four inches by three and a half. And then I just cut on a diagonal for just for something fun. So let me go ahead and get this adhered down. I love this paper. It is just stunning. And the color combinations, um, some of them I would not have thought to put together. There is the purple in there, the Fresh Freesia, which you know my love for purple is non-existent. So, <laughs> but, um, you know, it does have the Calypso Coral. It has the, um, the metallics. So, yeah, love it, love it. All right, now, also now this piece, let me pull this out here. Uh, is this is uh, two inches by three and a half then. All right, so this is more of a pool party. Um, there's pool party and I think there's mint macaron as well for the um, colors in this uh, DSP. So 
let's just adhere this right down the middle or so I'll pretend that it is by eyeballing it. Sometimes that diagonal throws me for a loop. Um, whoops. There we go. All right. Now I have a strip of Calypso coral. Just wanted something plain to kind of break some of this up. This is a half inch wide and four and a quarter inches long. So let's just go ahead. Sometimes all it is is just a little strip of what normally you would uh, think of a scrap, that if you add it, it's like, oh, perfect. Didn't know I needed that. So well, let's go ahead and get this adhered down. And now let me go ahead and get this down to my card base. Now I'm gonna show you the apple and I'll tell you the colors that I used of the blends. So I am not um, a fan of coloring. I'll do it if I have to, but the blends, I just can't say enough about them. I feel like I can really um, get my coloring done quickly with them. And I'll tell you why I say that is because there are two, two shades, the light and the dark, and that's what works for me. Then that way there's no, hmm, now do I go medium light or medium dark? Do I go light, light or it, two colors, two shades? I'm good. So believe it or not, this is Calypso Coral for the apple and then soft sea foam for my leaves. The stem is some crumb cake. So just did a little coloring there and discovered I need a new uh, set of the soft sea foam. Uh, my, uh, the light is almost dried out so I'm gonna have to get myself a new set and of course I just placed an order so I have to wait now to see what the new deal will be uh, for the week of starting September 8th so that's when I'll then order my my new Stampin blends the soft sea foam all right I have a from the layering circles two and an eighth circle here in the white two and three eighths in the black Sometimes if I have colors that I'm just not sure, I'm like, oh, how can I, what am I going to do here? Um, I'll throw in some black and that just kind of helps to break it up. And I'm not adding yet another color since black is uh, more of a neutral then. So, all right. So I have the apple that I die cut out using my Apple Blossoms dies and a whole bunch of my dimensionals. Let's pop this on. One of the sentiments that comes from the Apple Harvest stamp set, thanks for your kindness. So I'm just going to adhere. I just have um, a little bit that I'm gonna overlap on the apple, and then I have a dimensional where it's gonna hit here on the circle, and that's all the adhesive I'm gonna do. So let's get this and we'll pop this right on. Oops. Okay, last but not least, also part of the suite, the Splendid Day Suite, is this beautiful ribbon that I love. This is the uh, seam binding ribbon in soft sea foam. It is really soft and it ties bows really nicely. And if I could find mine, I would adhere it on. Oh, here it is. Well, what do you know? I'm being organized. It's on my roll of mini glue dots. So who knew I could be organized? So, <laughs> so I have a bow. Like I said, it just ties bows really beautifully. So let's go ahead, press that down. Now, let me find the embellishments. Here's another one here, these classic matte dots on sale this week. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put down now the white. Yeah, I like the white on there. So I could do the black also. I'm gonna go with the white, I'm gonna go with the white, so. I know, decisions, decisions. <laughs> so I'll just get 
my three on there. One, two, and let's put number three up there. And there we go. So same measurements, just using the opposite side of the designer series paper. And it looks totally different, doesn't it? Sort of. So anyway, card number one, check. That is done. All right, let me show you card number two and then how I'm gonna change this one up. Um, I actually got my cards done yesterday, which is a first for me. It's usually Sunday morning afternoon when I'm still working on my cards for Sunday Nights Live. So uh, for me to be done Saturday, that was pretty doggone good. So anyway, I made this card went to bed, came back, took a look at it, and I'm like, there's just something that it's missing. And I'll show you what it is. So hang on one second. Let me grab all the supplies that I'm going to need. So here we go. Card base, Calypso Coral, eight and a half by five and a half. The score here is four and a quarter then. So what is different? Here on my piece of craft that is cut five and a quarter by four, I felt like it was just too plain here. So I went ahead and ran it through with an embossing folder. This is the Ferns embossing folder. And already, I think I'm gonna like this one better. So um, you can tell me after it's done. So uh, let me go ahead, you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and adhere this down. So let me move this out of the way. So it's, um, it's not distracting to add embossing. It just adds that little bit of texture, something fun to look at. If you're just uncertain of, I feel like my card's missing something. See if there's an embossing folder you have that you could run a piece of cardstock through. That seems to help for me. Also layering up with different uh, colors of cardstock, that helps me as well. So. I like how bringing, pulling in other colors with using extra layers. So as you, as you know, if you've been watching me, you know I love my layers. So, so all right, so here is the card with the uh, embossed layer now. So, and then the one without. So when I get it done, you tell me. All right, again, another piece from that Splendid Day uh, Designer Series paper. Now this is, uh, four and a quarter by three. I have some soft seafoam and it is just an eighth of, excuse me, eighth of an inch bigger. So that means it's four and three eighths by three and an eighth. So let's go ahead. Sorry for the glare. I know it's hard to not be showing off the uh, metallic side of this paper because it really is beautiful. But with it being on sale, grab two. That way you can but you can use any side you want. So you'll have plenty. <laughs> All right, before I adhere this down, I am gonna put on a piece of, this is the Pale Papaya Open Weave Ribbon. Also on sale this week. So it's not just one or two things that they have on the list that's on sale. So make sure you check that out, uh, the weekly deals. So, and then don't miss out. If there's something on there you think you might want, grab it. Because I, I do believe it's while supplies last. Same with those dies um, for the perfect partners. They're not going to return. Um but they're while supplies last as well. So I always recommend just get it. You like it, get it. Um, and then if you put it on straight, that sometimes helps too. There we go, that's a little better. So this piece just, you know, I just tuck it behind. I adhere down with my, uh, scotch tape. Mine happens to be double-sided. That way uh, I just, I'm already having my adhesive right there so I'm good. Now I'm going to adhere this down. So it is a long weekend. Tell me what everybody is doing. Picnics, cookouts, um, 
I am enjoying some time off. I'll be honest with you, the past couple weeks I've been working six days a week. And so this is like to have two days off in a row is a real treat for me. <laughs> so I am going to get to work on a lot of things that I have coming up. So that's what I've got. All right, so here is my apple stem. And again, uh, Calypso Coral for the apple. Inside I did Petal Pink. Uh, again, the Soft Sea Foam and Crumb Cake for the stem. And then my flowers I did in some, so Saffron rather. And then I added just a little bit of Petal Pink in there too, just to give that hint of some pink uh, that I see sometimes. I probably could have gone a little heavier with that, but you know, just wanted to uh, just make it a hint uh, in there. So all right, I have some dimensionals on the back because I'm going to adhere that down. And again, I stamped it in the Memento Tuxedo Black and die cut it out. I will die cut it before I color it. That way I don't go and color it all up and then die cut and mess it up so um there's not a there that's such a horrible feeling when that happens all right i just have like a this is three eighths of an inch wide actually this strip here stamped again in the tuxedo black and um just hope you feel are feeling better and this is from again the apple set the apple harvest i have it i'm gonna overlap it on my apple that is already popped up so that portion no dimensionals i'm just gonna put a little bit of glue where it overlaps the apple but where it's going to hit down on the designer series paper i had that's where my dimensionals are so i'm gonna put it right there i feel like then that way my ribbon is kind of hiding underneath it and kind of gives it some, a sort of a fun look there. So, hey, I'm not done yet. One more item that is on the weekly deals, and that is the, be careful, I gotta watch how I say this, brushed brass butterflies, because that's not easy to say. So uh, let's go ahead and get these guys put down as well. So, and let's get, here, here, and there we go. Let me move these guys out of the way. All right, now you gotta tell me, with or without the embossing? I know which one I like. I like the embossed one better. So I wanted to, uh, I'm gonna hold off and I will snap some pictures of this one to put on my blog along with measurements and such. My blog is lindaloucreates.com, but um, when I knew I was going to try something different, I decided that I was going to wait before I snapped my pictures. So give me a couple, um, some time to get it posted on my blog, and um, yeah. So I'm going to put this one out because that's the one I like. <laughs> Let me bring in the other one then too. So here are the two apple cards that uh, were created today again using one of the perfect partner sets the apple harvest and uh, the new die along with some of the items that are in this week's weekly deals so well guys i certainly hope you have a wonderful labor day a nice long weekend and i will see you next week bye now